Hello YouTube, it's Body321 here, and back with another Pokemon Go video. So before we get started, don't forget to destroy that like button and subscribe to the channel if you're new for more Pokemon content. Now let's get into today's video. Today I'll be showing you guys a faster way to open up gifts in Pokemon Go. Gifts are a feature where you get an item called a gift that's useless to you, but if you send it to a friend, they can open it and end up getting a bunch of really useful items. However, they can take a while to open. As you can see, I click on the friend who sent a gift, or I click on the gift, and then click open, and then it does a whole animation of the gift opening, and then goes through all of the items I got. So. You can open up to 30 of these a day, and if you're trying to open them all at once, this can overall take a long time. So I'm going to show you guys a trick that allows you to open them much, much faster. So as you can see, I'm going to click on this gift. I'm going to click open, but then right afterwards, I spam where the X button was just below the open one because that stays active for a very short period of time after you open the gift. So you can open the gift and then X out of it, which cancels the animation, yet it still processes that the gift was opened. And as you can see, I'm going to go to my journal. As you can see right up here, it shows the gift that I opened the regular way. And then above it shows another gift that was opened. And that's the one that I used the trick on. So I'll show it again and you'll see a new one pop up right there. So I'll click on this gift, click open, and then immediately click the X button and it cancels out of the animation, but it still opens the gift as you can see right here, cause there's a new log that shows I received two pineapple berries and 200 stardust from a gift. And this allows you to open them up much faster, meaning that you don't have to spend a long time opening these gifts and you can get back to catching Pokemon or spinning Pokestops or whatever else you want to do in Pokemon Go. So I think that's going to wrap up this guide. If you guys found it helpful, please don't forget to drop a like and consider subscribing to the channel if you're new for more Pokemon content. Thanks again for watching and I'll be seeing you in the next one.